everyone, it's Shannon Grace. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, hi, what's up? My name is Shannon, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for checking it out. So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing the get to know your YouTuber tag. I have got uh, several questions that I've printed off of the internet like a good little student and content creator and I'm just gonna go over, uh, I'm just gonna go down the list and read them off and answer them for you guys. I have not really looked over these questions. I glanced over them when I printed them off, but that was honestly like two weeks ago. So I don't really remember what's on them. So hopefully you're gonna just get my honest answers. And yeah, hopefully you guys will get to know me a little bit and maybe find out things about me that you don't know yet or why I'm making a YouTube channel or I don't really know because I'm not really sure what's in the questions. Okay, maybe I should have read them first. Um, <laughs> I guess we'll see how it goes. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, question number one. What is your name and the name of your channel? Well, I think you guys know that. I say it at the beginning of every video. My name is Shannon. Welcome to my channel. This channel is called It's Shannon Grace, and you'll notice that that is something that I say in all of my intros. Um, I am basically just trying to have continuity across, across. I also struggle with saying some of my R's sometimes. I would cut this out, but I am going to be honest and tell you guys that sometimes certain words, I just, they come out with a wuh sound instead of a ruh sound, and I don't know, it is what it is. So anyways, um, <laughs> uh, the name of my channel is It's Shannon Grace, which you hear me say in all of my intros, and that is my same name on Instagram and on Twitter, so definitely make sure to follow me there. <laughs> um, and basically that's my name because, well, that was what was available. <laughs> Um, it used to be something else. I've had a couple variations on Instagram, but when I started my Twitter and started my YouTube, I wanted to make sure that they could all be the same. So that's how I ended up with It's Shannon Grace. So yeah. Oh, I guess that kind of answers the second question, which is what does the name of your channel mean? Well, it's pretty simple. It's, it's my name. <laughs> um, it's actually my first and my middle name, not my last name. Uh, I'm very, very attached to my last name. My family name means a lot to me. In fact, uh, if and when I ever get married, if I change my last name, I would definitely make my current last name, my maiden name, my would become my middle name because I'm very, very attached to it. But I love the name Shannon Grace. In fact, all throughout eighth grade, I tried to get all my teachers and everyone to call me Shannon Grace. Um, I did not succeed. No one calls me that except for the members of the Bell family who know who they are. Um, Sabrina and Jason and Jenny and Kimmy, they all call me Shannon Grace. And whenever they say it, I don't know, it just makes my heart smile a little bit. And so, um, yeah, I guess that's why I'm a little attached to it. <laughs> Next question is, where are you from? I am from Nashville, Tennessee. I was born and raised here. I have lived here my whole entire life with the exception of a couple years where I went to school in Kentucky. Um, otherwise, I am a Nashville native. Okay, so the next question is, why did you start a YouTube channel? Um, <laughs> I started a YouTube channel because I needed an outlet for my creativity, and for my voice to be heard and for a lot of different reasons but I did it really mostly for myself I am um, so okay over the last we'll say maybe five years I have been on a journey of learning to love myself and learning to celebrate all of my flaws and to accept myself exactly the way that I am. And the, not necessarily the catalyst, but like some of the reasons why I was able to do this and have this journey and really make a change with how I felt about myself and the way that I think about a lot of things was because of so many people online. It was because of all of the body positive advocates and the community of people that I found on originally on Facebook and then on Instagram and then on YouTube and seeing these beautiful incredible people 
celebrating all of their differences and all of their flaws and all of their diversity made me just feel so safe in being able to do that and I've always been an outgoing person I did a lot of acting when I was younger I even took voice lessons for a little bit of time and so being in front of a camera or on a stage is definitely a part of who I am it's just something that I put on the back burner and put in a box for I guess about a decade because I hated myself I didn't think that I was worthy of love. I didn't think that I was worthy of success. I didn't think I was good enough to be good enough. I just, I didn't, I didn't appreciate myself um, at all. And uh, I lived in a culture that told me my entire life that I was never gonna be thin enough. I was never gonna be pretty enough. I was never gonna be young enough or tall enough or short enough or have big enough boobs or, or smart enough or, or whatever it is that I never felt like I was talented enough to really succeed at any one thing. And I guess when I started moving forward past just the body positive journey but into like finding content creators on YouTube, people like Shane Dawson who have changed my way of, of thinking about who I could be, even like not just on camera but even off of camera like trying to be the best the best version of myself and trying to do the best thing and do what's right and treat people well and I don't know where I'm going with this but I guess the point of the story is that the reason I created a YouTube channel is for me and if there's one or two or ten or a thousand people out there who can relate or who find what I put on the internet uh, entertaining or funny or they get some kind of enjoyment or education from it then that's that's you know just a cherry on top um, but for me the channel is about me <laughs> uh, whew, what will your channel be about what will my channel be about my channel will be about me because I'm narcissist. No, I'm just kidding. Um, my channel will be about me. I don't know. I've got, I am nuts and loud and obnoxious and funny sometimes. And I like makeup and I like fashion and I like all kinds of different things. So my channel is going to be about me. It's going to be about spending time with my family and what we do and all the fun that we have. And I don't know. I might try some new things, I might learn some new things, I might show you guys some things, figuring it out as we go along, and I hope you guys are here for the ride with me. Who is my target audience? I think I pretty much answered that. Really, my audience is anybody who's open-minded, anybody who has an open heart, anyone who loves love, that is my target audience. Those are my people and you are all welcome here. Okay, the next question is top three favorite on YouTube. <gasps> oh man, oh, it's gonna be hard. Okay, well, Shane Dawson, obviously he is amazing. He is the queen of YouTube and I love and adore him. We stand an icon and legend and I am obsessed. Um, if you're not obsessed, then we can't be friends. <laughs> you should go find his channel and watch all of his videos. He's got 10 years worth of content and it's hilarious and it's insightful and it's educational and it's heartwarming and the man is a genius and he should be running all of the TV shows. I mean, just my personal opinion. <laughs> okay, next I would have to say Willem Belli. Willem is hilarious. You should definitely check out his channel. His content is so, 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 so funny. It is definitely raunchy and controversial and I love it it's it's everything to me so definitely definitely him and then um oh I think my third favorite and this might be a su surprise to some of you guys but I'm gonna say emergency awesome because he makes incredible content reviewing shows and talking um answering questions about tv shows that I like to watch uh, in particular, Game of Thrones, which is one of my favorite shows. Um, he breaks it down and answers questions that I wouldn't even think to ask and makes connections for me that my little feeble-minded brain can't put together. So I absolutely love his content. If you could do a collab with anyone right now, who would it be? Oh, well, that's easy. It would obviously be the Gucci Squad. <laughs> it would be Shane and Rylan and Morgan and Garrett and Andrew. <laughs> 
and literally all of them. And where has Drew been? That's what I need to know. The people need to know what's going on with Drew. Drew, we miss you. We love you. I have seen him hanging out with Christine Sedelko, which is cool because I love Christine. Um, but I miss him being part of the squad. Okay, three reasons anyone should subscribe to your channel. Uh, you guys should subscribe because I'm a big girl and I got a big family and I'm living a big life Just like my opener says. Wow, that was so cheesy and lame. I'm sorry you guys. I'll I'll go home <laughs> You can all unsubscribe now. I know I know <laughs> You should subscribe to my YouTube channel if you enjoy the content I create That's pretty much it if you like it then subscribe do you have any tips or advice for others who are just starting a YouTube channel? Yes, I would highly recommend Daryl Eve's channel. It, his content has been invaluable to me in learning about uploading videos and tags and content and all of that type of stuff. All the back end stuff that you don't see part of the YouTube videos, that has been invaluable. And so I really highly recommend his channel. Um, learning about how important with the new algorithm that YouTube is using, learning about tags and titles and thumbnails and all of those things. I would definitely recommend making sure that this is something that you wanna do for you because you're the one creating all the content, you're putting in all the work and you're not gonna get you know, a bunch of money in return or anything like that. So you gotta make sure that this is something that you wanna do for you. Okay, so we're gonna move on to some more questions that are a little bit less about creating the YouTube and they're just kind of like generic questions. So this one, the first one is, are you named after anyone? I am not named after anyone. Um, I, my name is um, Shannon Grace and I think my, from my understanding, my dad wanted to call me Gracie, but I guess, I don't know, my mom didn't like that or something, so that, is sort of how that ended up as my middle name and Shannon is a very Irish name and I do have Irish heritage so I think that's pretty cool but no I am not named after anyone when was the last time you cried uh, maybe earlier today watching the second season of 13 reasons why yeah that show is pretty intense if you were another person would you be a friend of yourself oh Heck yes, I would because I am awesome. I don't know if you guys heard the story earlier, but I kind of love myself now. So I have to think that I am pretty friggin' cool. And anybody who thinks otherwise is severely missing out. <laughs> What's the first thing you notice about people? The first thing I notice about people? Oh, it's gotta be their fashion. It's gotta be what they're wearing, what their shoes look like, how they're styled, if they have a specific style that they're presenting or not. Um, I am just a fashion girl. I love clothes. I don't get to play in clothes as much as I would like to. Um, so yeah, uh, I guess it would be their clothes. <laughs> is that superficial? I mean, it's the first thing you notice about people, right? What is your eye color? My eyes are brown because I'm full of <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> Scary movie or happy endings? Oh, happy endings. I am a hopeless romantic. I have always been a hopeless romantic. I will die a hopeless romantic, probably alone. Uh. <laughs> do you have kids? No, I do not have kids. I have never been married. I've never been engaged. I've never been proposed to. Uh, I've never taken a pregnancy test. I ha do not have any kids. And until I get married, I hope that I don't have any kids because I mean, shout out to all of the single parents out there. I, no girl, I can't do it. I don't know how two parents together who have a perfect marriage can raise a child. It's gotta be so incredibly hard. Um, so to do it on your own, no, that's not for me. <laughs> it's not for me. I don't wanna be a single parent, it's too hard. Favorite smells. Oh, I like boy smells. <laughs> I always say that because like I'm not really into like f floral type of like female powdery, clean linen type of smells. I really like musky, manly, woodsy smells like mahogany or sandalwood. Those are my favorite. What's the furthest you've ever been from home? Well, I live in Tennessee and I've been to California, so I guess that would be the furthest. I've never gone outside of the country. Um, I've been to New York. I've been to DC, I've been to Orlando, I've been to Baton Rouge, I've been to Las Vegas, Salt Lake City, Denver, I've been all over the place, Chicago, St. Louis, Memphis, Atlanta, I've been to South Carolina, 
so yeah I've been all over the place but I've never been outside of the country I it's it's a goal it's on the bucket list obviously I'd love to travel um, it's very expensive and very hard to travel so I haven't managed to get outside of the country yet but maybe just maybe one day I will do you have any special talents Ooh. Um, <laughs> I guess my special talent, the thing that most people probably think of me for, is my gift wrapping ability. I love to wrap gifts. It's my absolute favorite thing. I'm very crafty and creative, so I, I feel like I can pretty much make anything or create anything. Um, I do like to paint, although I'm not um, an excellent painter. I'm not like, you know, a still life expert or anything like that. But, you know, abstract here or there is fun. Um, so yeah, gift wrapping. Um, maybe I'll make a video about it, especially at Christmas time. You guys, you do not know what you're in for. I do a theme every year, so I like to have all my packages in like a theme. And we'll do like, you know, one year I did like a black and white and gold and it was very glam. Sometimes I'll do more like rustic. Last year I did a buffalo plaid with whites and grays and it was everything. <laughs> um, so yeah. That, I guess, would be my special talent, is my ability to wrap a most beautiful package. Do I have any pets? I do not have any pets currently. Um, I am a dog lover. My parents have a Labradoodle named Annie. You guys have seen her in some of my videos, I think. And um, yeah, she's my sister dog. She's part of my family. I love her very much. Uh, she's not actually my dog, um, but you know, I feel like she kind of is. <laughs> I love dogs. But I have a really small apartment and not very much room outside and I'm gone all day long so the idea of having a dog and like keeping it in a crate or keeping it stuck in my little apartment just makes me sad. So until I have a bigger house or a better uh, yard outdoor space for a dog then maybe one day I will get one in the future. Who was your first best friend? My first best friend was Emma Portwood and um yeah we danced together for what god like almost 10 years or something and we were the absolute closest we used to make up dance routines in her basement and give each other makeovers and play in the creek behind our houses we traveled together everywhere we spent our entire lives together as children um when we got a little bit older i stopped dancing she started going to um a different dance studio and so we definitely lost touch a little bit but because of the magic of social media and the internet we reconnected a few years back and we've actually gotten to hang out uh, a few times recently she came to my birthday a year i guess ago and um yeah she is getting married and she has asked me to do her makeup for her wedding so that is incredible i'm so honored and so excited and so happy for her um yeah so emma is my very first best friend and she's still one of my very very good friends what do you want to be when you grow up i am a grown up <laughs> I'm so old to be on YouTube for real like to be starting a YouTube channel. I'm 33 you guys Hi, I'm Shannon and I'm in my 30s and I'm starting a YouTube channel and I hope you guys can be okay with that <laughs> I don't guess I'm starting a YouTube channel anymore. I guess I started a channel. I've started it. It's here It's not new anymore. Hi, welcome to my channel <laughs> funniest moment throughout school. Oh My god um funny moments at school I definitely peed on myself on a school bus in eighth grade. I think it was on the Washington DC trip and I was in like one of those um, bathrooms that's in the back of a bus and I got, I like peed all over myself. I don't really remember the details. It's a little blurry and maybe I tried to block it from my memory, but uh, yeah, that happened. Okay, we got a few more here. What is your favorite drink, animal, and perfume? Those are weird combination of things. Okay, my favorite drink. Uh, well, I'm obsessed with water. I love filtered water, not spring water. Very cold filtered water. That is my absolute favorite. If we're talking about an alcoholic drink, my go-to is either going to be a uh, red wine or a, a rum and coke with a lime. My favorite animal? I guess I have to go with dogs. I love all dogs. Um, yeah, dogs. And my favorite perfume? Um, I don't really wear a lot of perfume. I did wear Britney Spears Fantasy for a really long time. Um, it has like a real like sweet sort of candy smell. I wore that like all through high school and into college, but I haven't worn it in years and I haven't really worn perfume in years. What phone do you have? 
Oh, I have the Samsung S9 Plus. It's brand new and I just got it for myself for my birthday a couple months ago. It was a birthday gift to myself. I actually got it the day before I was gifted with my YouTube camera and uh, so it was a great week for technology in my life. I got two awesome new things, so yeah. Um, it's an Android phone. I am not an iPhone user. I am not an Apple product user. I have never used an iPhone and I, Lord willing, I will never use an iPhone. The last question is, tell us one of your bad habits. Oh, girl, where do I start? Hmm, let's see, bad habits, huh? <laughs> um, I would say my bad habit is throwing my clothes all over my room. I make the joke all the time that my bedroom is basically a closet with a bed in it because it's literally an explosion of clothes and shoes and earrings and everything everywhere all the time. Um, so yeah, I basically live downstairs in my apartment in like my living space and my bedroom I sleep in and I get dressed in and pretty much nothing else. Well, maybe, you know. <laughs> All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed getting to know me a little bit better today. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you thought, or if you have ideas for videos you would like to see in the future. And if you want to hang out with me between uploads, I've listed all my social media accounts down in the description. As always, like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel, but most importantly, don't forget to love yourself. Bye! One of these days, I'm gonna learn where the buttons on my camera are without having to actually look at them and then accidentally turning my my camera off mid-filming every time. Ah! Oh, top favorite. Uh, um, <laughs> I'm not a stalker, I promise. <laughs> I guess we'll pause for another few minutes. That's the wrong button. I got the right one. I did it. Yes, yes. <sighs> this is a shout out to my ex. Da -da 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 -da, baby. Okay, I think that's good enough. <laughs>